Hello, Barmy Badrami. This is another special promoting Necromonicon Whispers in the Woods. Yes, I cannot wait. After last night's technical issues, we had about a minute of radio silence, so I thought I would do another one, and it's a really good excuse. I was going to do one anyway, to be honest with you, to promote the film. Yes, it's coming out. Finally. Yes. It took me a while to edit. It took us roughly two hours to film. And I'm chef's kiss. Really happy with the results. I'm really happy. I tell you what, I'm ecstatic. It's exactly how I imagined a Necromonicon film to be. And I'm really looking forward to doing the last in the trilogy as well. Believe it or not, there is now a plan. There is now a plan going forward. There is going to be a third one. So I will let you guys know more about that when it comes to fruition. But yes, there is going to be an overarching storyline. So it might not be three, it might be four. We'll see. But it's going to lead to something. And that's going to be an interesting development. So, yes, my version of Evil Dead 2. <laughs> where Nick and Big Cheese go back to the forest, back to the haunted forest, to sort out a problem that already happened again again, is going to be on Saturday at 9pm. Please do mark that in your calendar. Please do write that in your YouTube notes. Please do write that in anything you can find, a teestone napkin, because there will be... The video is up and ready, and it is looking forward to being watched this Saturday, 9 p.m. I cannot wait. Now, some of the stuff I talked about while we had Radio Science yesterday was the fact that I really love, really absolutely adore practical effects in films. It really makes them look better for me. For me, practical effects really brighten up a film. They make something magical happen. Yeah, it makes it a bit more believable. When you see old films like Cleopatra coming at you on video and on VHS and on DVD and Blu-ray and all these different things, HD, you watch it and you think, cool, that looks really good. And that has no like CGI or anything in it at all. But it's been ramped up so well. And the practical effects, the stone the paintings in the background, everything really pops out really well. And that's what I love. And that's what I think we've managed to do with Necromonicon. The practical effects are so much fun that are in it. And of course, yes, I know, they are old bits and pieces left over from other films. And that's part of the point. Uh, you know, it's great to be on a budget, great to be able to reuse practical effects, great to be able to reuse all these different things that we've got in assets and make them better and you might think oh that's weird doesn't it but no lots of different films do it there was a, a famous one was halloween where they repainted a mask of william shatler uh, uh you know and turned it into you know the sheep and of course there's loads of other different uh, bits and pieces in cinema history where they've taken something changed it slightly and made it a whole new character and this is what I've done and we've done in Necromonicon Whispers in the Woods. We've taken Tummy and we've flipped it and we've reversed it and we've changed it and we've used it again. A lot of the stuff was from Bahoon's Boohoo Bucks and a lot of the stuff was either discounted or ultra, ultra cheap uh, Halloween merch, which was really good. Uh, so we've mainly made our money's worth out of these items. They've been around for Halloweens. They've been used in films. They've been used in lots of different projects. So I think it's fantastic the way we've managed to do that and save money on that. Uh, if you would like to help us get new props and become a producer of the new film and films going on, you can donate to the show or, of course, you can become a member. Or if you would like, you can up your membership scale and get a prize of some new limited edition badger socks it was always fun <laughs> hey, 
because they're mad, I tell you that. We managed to give a pair to Rats and the lovely John, and they loved them. So I hope you guys would like to see some of those yourself, indeed. And we never know, we might be able to get some more at some point as well. So if you want to become a member or, you know, up your membership or donate, there will be a thank you as becoming a producer of the film and maybe some other thank yous as well, of artwork and all sorts of bits and pieces. So that's really interesting, isn't it? Yeah, so getting back to what I was talking about before, yes, we've used practical effects in this as well. And yes, I've used the traditional bad PNG terrible <laughs> effects. But I really think it leans and lends itself to this project. So please, you know, don't forget it's going to be fun and it's all in the name of a good old laugh. And yes, believe it or not, there is green screen moments in it, but it's fantastic. There is lots of cool green screen moments and I've used them really well. Gosh darn it. Wibble me timbers. We've really, really, really used them well. And I think it really lends itself to the film. Like I was saying, this is my you know favorite film we've done so far because it really is the vision that i've wanted you know um there is of course you know meditation madness i don't know if you've seen uh, that one as well essex fbi investigates meditation madness as well that is uh you know one of my favorites meditation madness was hilarious and that was spot on to the vision i had for the film so was balamoron uh, there's been a few that haven't quite hit where I wanted them to go. So there will be sequels to those because I want to expand on the idea, number one, and I want it to be where I want it to be as well. Uh, one of those particular ones is there's definitely going to be a paracontrol activity too because I it nearly got to where I wanted it to be, but not quite. So there's some little secrets there for you that there will be sequels to some of these films not only because I feel that there's some meat left in the storyline, but because I want to show you guys exactly how I can do it and what I can do to expand the ideas. So please watch out. There's going to be plenty coming up. And um, what I am looking forward to trying to do, if Nick's available next week, is Essex FBI Training Day Egg and Spoon Race. So that's going to be fun. Uh, or, you know, we never know, we might be able to do some other ideas in with that as well. So who knows? It's going to be lots of fun. But yeah, there's going to be like a training day. And I'm hoping to film that uh, before we release Essex, uh, before we release Necromonicon Whispers in the Woods. And then that'll be a little teaser, a little bit of fun for you guys on the run up to Saturday. But I can't promise that. So we'll see how we go. But that's a plan going forward. Wow, I've managed to tell you guys too many secrets in this one. Wow, there's loads of secrets coming up. But yeah, so lots of things looking forward to on the film side of the channel and uh, lots of things looking forward to on the vlog side and all the different bits and pieces. Um, everyone seems to be enjoying the top five horror films that I've been picking. I've been picking some weird ones because I don't want to be like, oh yeah, scream one, two, three and all these different things that are normal that everyone's going to watch. I'm going to pick stuff from my childhood and stuff from my early 20s that's niche as heck that you're not going to remember, that you're going to go back and watch and go, wow, that was a good choice, you know? So there's there's different things I want to share with you on that. So lots of really interesting things. This was meant to be just about the film, but it seems to have become a channel update. Hey-ho! But yeah. Getting back to Necromonicon Whispers in the Woods. It will be out this Saturday, 9pm. I cannot wait. It is going to be fantastic. I know, you know, everyone says to me, don't pick it up too much. Uh, but you've got to. You've got to be proud of what you do. And I'm very proud of this new one. And I really want you guys to be there. Make sure you like. Make sure you share. Make sure you donate if you can because it will help us with the new films and the new projects coming up. I cannot wait to share it with you. I am very excited uh, with this one. Sometimes, you know, I'm a bit like, oh, there's another film coming out, blah, blah, blah. You know, and I'm, 
I'm not like I'm excited, but I'm not like oh my goodness me, you know. This, but this one, I'm actually nervous about releasing because I'm really happy with it, you know. Sometimes the last time I felt like this was when I released Balamoron, and I was really nervous. Actually, it was when I released um, Essex FBI Investigates, indeed Forest of Ash. That was the last time I was ultra nervous about a film as well. As well as Battle Moran, because Essex FBI investigates Forest of Ash took a long time to film. I think that took like four, maybe five, nearly six months in the end. That took a long time to film. Uh, but we got there, and I was very proud of it. So if you haven't seen Essex FBI investigates Forest of Ash or the first Forest of Ash, please do check it out because they were great. Yes, and they took a long time. Yeah, so like I was saying, I was ultra nervous. And I still am. Every time I release a film, I'm like, Aah! but for this one, I'm ultra, ultra nervous because I really, 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 really love what we've done with this new one. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. So I cannot wait to share it with you. But I'm absolutely wibbling myself because I am really happy with it. And I really want you guys to be happy with it too. So fingers crossed. I will see you there Saturday, 9 p.m. We're going to do more of these little chats, more of these little vlogs coming up very soon. So I really can't wait. I really enjoy hyping the film. So I'll see you soon, guys. Bye for now, Barmy Badger Army. Keep safe. Keep well. Much love, everyone. And I'll see you in the next vlog, video, stream, movie, or short. Bye.